Let's ch visit in on Christy Nome. Let's see what she's saying at CPAC. This is also bat crap crazy. Remember, Christy Nome rented out her National Guard to a billionaire who um, apparently wanted to send people to the... Where does that billionaire live or where doesn't he live? He's in Tennessee. Now, how far along the border... How much of Tennessee's uh, border uh, borders with Mexico? I'm not quite clear on that. None, but it does border the most other states around it. Go off on piece of trivia, Tennessee. Interesting. But not one of those states uh, is South Dakota, right? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Let's just be clear. So Tennessee does not border South Dakota. And doesn't border Mexico. And doesn't border Mexico. So to be clear, the story is, this is a story of a billionaire living in Tennessee who rented a, uh, a National Guard from South Dakota to station itself somewhere near the border, I guess, in Texas. And like, um, I, I really wonder like what, like when the, like the border patrol is like, um, what are you guys doing here? Here's Christy Nome announcing that she did this dumbness at uh, CPAC. Number two, the second most dangerous thing that's happening is down at our southern border. A nation without borders is a nation without laws and is not a nation at all. So here's what, I want to explain something to you. I was the very first governor that when Texas and Arizona asked for help, that sent my National Guard troops down there to help. I want to explain to you why I sent National Guard. National Guard are the best, and our country deserves the best. They do missions like this all the time. You give them a mission, they are trained for it, they're equipped for it, they are ready and they know how to complete that mission and then come home doing an excellent job. I, in South Dakota, have had the top National Guard unit the last three years in a row in the United States of America. They literally are the very best that you have. And they will go and they will complete their mission. I won't shortchange my law enforcement right now. I just won't do it. Mm -hmm. I think it's irresponsible right now with what we see across the country to shortchange law enforcement. They're needed at home. They do their jobs. We send our guard because they're used to the war zone that they're going to see down there at the border. They're prepared and trained for it and they can deal with it. So I'm thankful that the governors asked, and if the federal government's gonna to fail to do their job, then governors are the ones who are gonna to have to step up and do it for them to protect this country. Uh, the bill, she, she left out the part about, and we funded it with a billionaire who hired the, the, them to go It's a there. war zone. There must've been a real tough go of it when they were down there, right? Did, did anyone die? Yeah, the whole like, they're, they're gonna do their mission. Like, what's their mission? Like, be a propaganda object? Their mission is to uh, force ten from Navarone. <laughs> their it's mission like a bridge too far. They, they the is to back up Christy Nome's twenty twenty four presidential bid with hard evidence of how tough she'd be on those damn Mexicans. Which have gone nowhere. She's bas she's pulling behind like Candace Owens by like five points. But yeah. <gasps> also, she also touted her COVID response. Now, I would just like to point out that as of right now, uh, five total more South Dakotans or five less South Dakotans have died than South Koreans have died from coronavirus. Jeez. Just to give you an idea. She, how but well she's her... bragging though. At another point in that, in that CPAC speech, she was talking about how other Republican governors let their constituents yep. down by imposing a lockdown. Um, and she never did. She never, ever did a lockdown. So, and those deaths are just including South Dakotans, not including all the people infected by the Sturgis rally in neighboring states. Well, which... exactly. And, and, and she gets to have this ability to say that something like that because South Dakota is so rural, but say you're like a red state and, you know, Texas locked down for a little bit. So she must be actually much more of a real conservative than Craig Abbott or whatever. It's just, she's get she's dancing into as performative as it gets territory. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.